Hello everybody, it is Adam from SoGo Survey, and today I'm here to talk about how to measure and reduce customer churn. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. No matter what industry, losing customers is bad news. But before we get into how to measure and reduce customer churn, it's important to remember that the loyal members of your customer base are far more valuable to your business than your recent acquisitions because your loyal members are more likely to try new products, spend more, and spread the word about your brand. Reducing customer churn is an important goal and it is a crucial part of any effective business strategy. And of course, it all begins with gathering and analyzing data. When it comes to measuring your customer churn rate, you'll want to quantify your losses to have a better idea of just how much customer churn is impacting your business. So you should consider how will you define a customer as lost? Determine metrics that work for your business so you'll be able to act on your findings. Now, average churn rates can vary widely between industries. If you look at business services, the typical churn rate is 16% compared to media where the typical churn rate is 37%. Rates of your strongest competitors will give you an indication of a realistic target. Another good thing to do is to identify the customers who are at a high risk of churning. Studying customer behavior and direct feedback offer a great start, and a key metric to review is customer satisfaction, and that goes hand in hand with customer retention. Try to build as complete a picture as possible of the key indicators of a potential customer churn. Ideally, you'll be able to identify a few factors which have the most significant impact on churn and look at solutions. Along with everything else, you'll want to understand why your customers are leaving. To do this, you'll need to analyze feedback and survey results to reveal any recurring issues your customers may be having. One of the most common reasons for customer churn is poor customer service. Depending on your industry, excellent customer service may include responding quickly, demonstrating a deep knowledge of a subject, and resolving an issue in a minimal number of interactions. Other common problems that will lead to customer churn typically include technical issues during an online purchase and a lack of payment and delivery options. If any of these issues crop up multiple times in your data, addressing them should become a priority. There are going to be outliers, of course, but if you see consistent issues dealing with the same subject, you want to fix them as soon as possible. So you have your data, you understand why your customers are leaving. Now you want to bring some of those customers back and you'll have to choose those people carefully. Who are you gonna focus your efforts on? Infrequent low spenders, maybe some previously lucrative customers or some other group. When making those decisions, consider both the likelihood of a customer churning and their profit margin potential. When using incentives, you'll want to target those customers who are likely to provide a high return on your investment if you can convince them to stay. But most importantly, take action. Once you've identified who you want to bring back, reach out to address the challenges they had. Your customers might have grown distant over time. Sending a brief, hello, we've missed you message at the right time can help a customer reconnect with your brand. The bottom line is you wanna show your customers that you value them and that you're putting effort into making the right decisions. If they're not interested, you'll just need to adjust and move on. Not every customer is the right fit and that is completely okay. A strong customer churn prevention strategy can significantly impact your bottom line. So get the right data, identify the highest value customers and take swift positive action. If you all would like to read more about how to measure and reduce customer churn, we have a blog about it on our website. Also, please follow us at Sogo Survey on our various social media platforms down below. Thank you all so much for tuning in to this week's episode. I greatly appreciate it. I also hope you tune in to next week's episode as well. Thank you all so much. Please stay safe out there and have a wonderful weekend.